Get it out. Be right back in here. Get it out. Get it out. Boy, that's it. Get yeah, first ball. You know you like yourself on that. Yeah. Right there. You threw the ball almost three quarter on. Yes, yes. I think Jones is getting a little tired. Good. Now remember what I just told you about that. Try it in the back part of the plate. The one you just got under just a little. You didn't have enough pulling. All right, there you go. That's it. That's it. Excellent. When you find yourself hanging the ball, just think about it. Just think about it. Dropping it right on the back. Yeah. Right on the back part of the plate. And that will help you to pull through everything. Take that goat head out of there. So, Ali, tell me what spring training's like this year. Well, so far it has been going pretty smooth. Uh, we haven't had any real serious injuries. Uh, right now, Kiko Garcia is probably our on his casualty, and he's going back to Baltimore to have uh, a myelogram taken of his back uh, to see if they could find anything wrong. Uh, he can still play, but uh, we don't want to take the chances right now of uh, him hurting himself any worse. So... Tell me a little bit about spring training, the purpose, and you know, sort of like what goes on behind the scenes. Well, spring training, for one, you begin, uh, you come down here to get yourself in good physical shape, uh, get the arms and legs and the body and the mind into condition to play 162 ball games. And uh, some think it is too long, and some people think it's a waste of time, but. Uh, I know from experience, even though I play winter ball, that I always needed spring training. Uh, I needed at least a good three weeks of spring training to get uh, physically ready, as well as mentally. Uh, spring training is a place for the guys that uh, spend the winter up north, where it snowed all the time, to work, come to work in the suntan. <laughs> and and uh, it's the best place to be, really, uh, when you think about getting in shape. You can get in shape in cold weather. Tell me more about what you just said. This is a place to get your mind into play in baseball. What do you mean by that? Well, basically, you think about game situations. You work in uh, fundamentals down here. You work in the things that you're going to do in, during the course of the season. And even though it might seem crazy to a lot of people that we keep drilling into the player's mind about working on pickoff plays, working on trick plays, trick moves, and uh, what have you that these are the things that make the difference in a one-run ball game. Last year, uh, Eddie picked off at least 10 guys with some of the plays that we worked down here in spring training. We had uh, Richie Dower had about two or three. Uh, Doug made one all last year, but they wound up winning a ball game for us, a safer ball game, because that was a winner on the third. Uh, these little things working on hitting the cutoff man, even though they're things that you're supposed to know, you still have to refresh your mind. And that is where the mental part comes in. 
uh, doing these things day in, day out, it become a part of you. The things that you do in practice, you invariably do in the game. And that's, that is basically the purpose for being down here. What do you guys do in your spare time? Tell me the truth. It, uh, it can be boring uh, if you have a lot of time doing nothing because uh, you get tired of uh, looking at the four walls in the hotel. Uh, I, for one, I, I really don't like movies or anything like that. I like going to nightclubs, but uh, that get old too. Uh, and now, well, now that I'm a coach, I am permitted to go into the bars and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, it at last. <laughs> it became uh, a bore before we get into the spring exhibition game because we would be back at a hotel, let's say, like 2.30, 3 o'clock, and then you had the rest of the afternoon doing nothing. If you are down with the family, fine. If the family is not here, well, it can be a long, long day. How many of the men bring their families? Your wife's in, in Baltimore now, huh? Yes, yeah, she's in Baltimore because the two young ones are going to school. And uh, plus, uh, I think basically because of when I played, I didn't really like uh, her being around. Not that she uh, was about it in any which way, but uh, there came a time in spring training when I got a little grouchy. Uh, when the aches and pains were still there, I got a little grouchy, and sometimes I may have said the wrong things. And so uh, she never really was interested in coming out to spring training. I think it was basically because of me and my moods and attitude during spring training. Yeah, uh, you get to that point of spring training when you hurt so bad all over uh, that everything seems to bother you. And little things that really would not bother you under normal circumstances to dead. And uh, she was very understanding as far as that concerned. But now the kids, like I said, are in school, and so I give her a reason not to come. <laughs> How about the next season? What do you think? Is it going to be great? Are we going to be... Well... Superstars again? Well, hopefully uh, that we have the same type of year that we had last year, and if we can improve it at one more game, we will be world champs. Uh, right now, we're preparing to for the champion season, which begins in April 10th for us, and we play each game as it comes, and hopefully we win more than anybody else in the American League. And even though I would say hopefully we win more than anybody in the world, but we did it last year and we still were world champs. So all I'm going to say is we hope that we win more games that, uh, than anybody in the American League won. And then hopefully if we get in the playoffs or when we get in the playoffs, okay. that we will win more games than anybody else in the world. All right. <laughs> I like to hear you talk like that.